When Joseph's master had him put in jail, there were two other noteworthy prisoners there. One was the chief cupbearer, and the other was the chief baker. Each of them had dreams that troubled them. This is in Genesis chapter 40, verses 5 through 7. When Joseph found out, he responded in this way, Do not interpretations belong to God? This is in verse 8. They gave him their dreams, and he interpreted them, and both interpretations came true. Later, we find Joseph before the king when he also had a dream. This is in chapter 41, verses 1 through 7. Joseph interpreted his dream, and th that dream also came true. With all the dreaming going on in Genesis, some would say it was the psychic inner self of these men as they perceived the future. Well, that's a conclusion drawn on these texts because of a desire to believe it was what was going on. But Joseph said this about the king's dream in Genesis 41, 28. God has shown to Pharaoh what he is about to do. While we may have perceptive dreams about someone lying to us or an impending event taking place, they are not a supernatural power of the human mind. Some may be our subconscious picking up signals from people that our conscious attention is missing. Others may be coincidences created by bits of information our minds have stored away. But when all is said and done, while so much is hidden from us, we must never forget that nothing is hidden from God. As Joseph later said, God has shown to Pharaoh what he is about to do. Genesis 41, 28. This is what the author of Hebrews said in Hebrews 4, 13. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are open and laid bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. If we want to be pleasing to the Lord, we need to put that word spoken of in the preceding verse to work in our lives.